Okay, so I heard a rumor that when a man dies, he ejaculates the last time. Is that what you say? No. Okay, I can't accept that, though, right? <laughs> right? You understand? <laughs> exactly. That's just something I heard. It's like I also heard your fingernails grow when you die. <laughs> No, what really happens is the skin retracts <laughs> as the body fluids in your fingers, right? <laughs> Which makes it appear like the nails are growing, right? But I did learn you eat yourself from within. <laughs> you destroy yourself kind of like something's eating you. <laughs> no, right? Well, that's an interesting theory. Uh, or fat, right? Because, you know, right. right. Death eats you from within. <laughs> Death eats you from within. Uh, mm -hmm. But anyway, and uh, you also eat the fruit of the body when you reproduce. And, uh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. The fruit is your offspring, silly. <laughs> That's why God said be fruitful and multiply anyway. That's one of the seals. <laughs> they seal. <laughs> then men are compared to trees and judges, right? That's the second book after Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> The first five are the books of Moses, right? So it's the third book of the Bible. Then you got Ruth, then you got Samuel and all that, right? Mm hmm Well, like I said, though, mm hmm If something is trying to prove something to you, it can prove it to you to a point, but it can still be a lie. Mm -hmm. It's proven to you. Oh, no. That's the problem, too. You can prove a lie in the truth, right? The difference is, though, the whole truth sets you free or makes you free, you know. A partial truth is something that appears to be true, but there's more than meets the eye. Mm -hmm. And you're just using the eye, not the ears or the mouth or the nose or the five senses even to understand, right? Feel, taste, touch, right? Touch and feel everything. But again, you got eyes, ears, smell, taste, and touch, right? Five senses, right? We know we have. We know we have. But two of them, the eyes and ears, could be blind, deaf. Now, dumb means you're not saying what you need to say or understanding what you need to understand to understand the whole truth, right? <laughs> By the way, mm hmm And why? Because of worthiness. <laughs> People often think they're unworthy of the truth, right? Now, can a medical doctor, though, that's a fellow creature, be more than the maker of the planet and the universe? No. no. Even if it made it in a big bang, idiot, it made it and controls everything around you that you see or don't see. I know. Can you see the gases in the air? No, no. <laughs> but you can see a yellowish appearing star right, in the horizon, right? And the moon that goes around the earth. Something made all this for us to live on this planet. You could consider it our little ant farm, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but it's like an ant farm. Now, how do you make an ant farm? You get ants, you put them in the little glass container, right? With sand, so they can dig and make their nest in it. You also got to feed them regularly, right? You provide them with food and water and whatever they need, right? You don't see that here, huh? We're not on a big ant farm, right? And we're supposed to take care of it and take care of each other, by the way. <laughs> and care for each other. That's what I mean. That's what you mean. You're an ant on the ant farm telling the maker of the ant farm... I don't see you, so I don't believe in you. That ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. <laughs> you don't have to see something that's different than you either 
for it to be real. <laughs> like I said, the angels might even be gaseous type beings which we couldn't see. Why is the outer planet's gaseous gas giant city like? I know, right? There's something going on in the universe we're not aware of as well. Mm -hmm. Whether there's life on other planets or not. I know. If the universe is expanding out and you think it should be contracting, only an explosion like a supernova could do that, right? So if something is also destroying the stars so we can expand outward instead of going back in, right? Maybe we're supposed to go out and not back in. <laughs> huh. <laughs> now that's just a theory for you, right? <laughs> but if something is destroying something from within so it don't contract, right? It wants you to go out, young man, not go back in, right? Because back in is really your past, not your future, right? <laughs> but you do have a past, present, and future, silly. We all do. We all do. <laughs> That's the problem, too. And some people think they know it all when you're just starting to learn something you didn't know. Right. Don't mean you know everything. Well, that's why I'm asking questions, see? Questions deserve an answer. If even bodybuilders have high blood pressure because they're bigger now, <laughs> and it's not about them being in shape or not, right? the reason is anyone bigger needs more pressure to pump the blood through the body, and that might not be a bad thing, but you're making people paranoid to this. That's what I'm eating. Right? That's why I'm asking certain questions about, well, does the rock have high blood pressure or is it normal? <laughs> I don't know. I never got his stats that way. Mm -hmm. But if all big men, even muscular men, have higher blood pressure, maybe doctors, you should think about that being because they got more blood to pump through the body because the body's bigger, not smaller anymore. Maybe that's not a bad thing. You're making paranoid people paranoid about it. <laughs> I don't know. That's a question. You can research it or not, too. I'm not trying to make you, but I'm making the point for myself and other big men. <laughs> if that's an issue with most big men, even bodybuilders, even bodybuilders. But I'm researching it not just for myself, but for everyone. See, that's the point, too, right? Mm-hmm. Now, mm. anyway, I was watching Dr. Jeremiah today. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something, Dr. Jeremiah. God does not bless and destroy Satan does. He's the God of good and evil. No. When you do this, you're worshiping Satan, not God. See it? See it. He's the destroyer of our planet. <laughs> not God, <laughs> who created it only and set it in motion, right? <laughs> We're destroying it with Satan. And if it's destroyed by fire, Dr. Jeremiah, nuclear warheads is that fire, right? You understand? We're going to destroy ourselves, not God. God does not destroy that which is created. Right? He's not both creator and destroyer. Either that's Satan. That's Shiva, right? <laughs> you got it backwards, sir. You're worshiping and calling the devil God and not even knowing the God of the Bible, I know. You know the God of the devil, I know. And he's the God of this world, ain't he? Well, who do you think you're acknowledging there, Dr. Jer David Jeremiah? Mm -hmm. Jesus or Satan? Satan. Right. <laughs> you can't serve two masters either. You'll either claim the one, flee from the other, or vice versa, right? If you're not with Jesus, who's the part of the creation of God, right? And still following the creator God, right? But we can't see it. Only me and Jesus might can, right? On its throne still, right? As the white light it really is in your heart, mind, soul, and strength, right? And made our bodies for it to host itself in, right? Though with Satan, another creature from the heavenly abode, <laughs> the first estate he came from, right? If we let him and make him our God, he's then our God and not God. <laughs> our God. <laughs> That's what Jesus means. You're confused about who's destroying you. And how you're being destroyed is by your sins with Satan, not God destroying his own creation. Right? 
Now, is Satan high up in the hierarchy? He's got to be. But he's after who? Jesus. Jesus. So you got it a little backwards. You're worshiping Satan like he's God and Jesus like he's just some little figure of your imagination who can somewhat save you from the devil. <laughs> You're making the devil greater than Jesus then if he can't save you from your destruction. Because right? he don't destroy. <laughs> Satan does. Satan does. What is his appetite? He murders, steals, kills, and destroys, right? Not Jesus. So who do you think you're really worshiping, not to David Jeremiah, when you talk of God destroying the world? Satan. Satan. He is the God of this world. Right? He does want to destroy God's creation, right? Even if he can't permanently. <laughs> but temporarily, which creates a loop for us. So no. I keep telling you, you got to make the fruit good or evil or you're lukewarm. <laughs> you're lukewarm. Now, that don't mean if you're on a path, you always got to stay in the middle. Either you might have to go to the right, the left, to get out somebody to leave who's going the wrong way. <laughs> Damn. You ever heard of that? <laughs> but again, again, <laughs> I kid you not, I kid you not. <laughs> but I'm still looking for a wife. If you don't want to be my wife, leave me alone too, right? I don't want someone who don't want me. I don't know. You're sounding like you think I'm stalking you. Well, no, honey. You told me information, right? I'm just repeating the information you told me. That's not stalking you. That's talking about my past. We all have a past, present, and future. I don't know. Most people are comfortable with their past. If you're doing something embarrassing to me, though, and I'm still here, you need to quit, please. <laughs> That's all I can ask you, to quit. <laughs> if you don't want me yourself, maybe someone else will in the future. But if you're not the one, you're not the one either. I know that, too. But don't use a disability that I'm functioning under. Right? Trying to be as normal as I can before the wreck or fall or whatever. Right? And I know myself between the wreck and the fall, right? And I'm still myself mainly until 93 with Sheena, right? And Sheena didn't tell me her stance on marriage, so I had premarital sex with her not knowing what her situation was, right? Or her belief was. See, you got to tell your new boyfriend who's trying to have sex with you, I don't want sex. <laughs> Especially if he's doing oral. Oral, to me, means I'm going to have sex with you. <laughs> I'm going all the way, <laughs> All you got to do, though, is tell me, Shane, I'm not looking for full sex. I'm looking for her only, and I'm like, what did I know what you do? But if you don't tell me, I don't know. I'm not a mind reader. <laughs> Nor is Jesus, and your body language was saying, put something in me. My tongue or my penis, and I might have chosen my penis. Unless you said otherwise before that. <laughs> and you seem fine with it after so who's embarrassing whom, themselves, Sheena? You. You don't know you got to tell a strange man you meet on a date <laughs> and go out with the final day and going to let him put on your shorts and panties? Don't have sex with me? Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, you do. And every woman knows a male's more sexual than the female. Mm -hmm. You can't tell me that if you give the male the opportunity, like in the possible outcome of what happened in the salon, a male will not have sex with a female who seems willing or willing to go with him into the bathroom. Most males do do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. And aren't afraid to do that. Now the problem comes in when I lose time, and I know it only takes about 30 minutes to eat. <laughs> Anybody, uh, both preparer, right, and the person eating the food, Shouldn't be in there more than 35 to 40 minutes, right? Even at a buffet, it should be quicker. <laughs> Nancy and Michael <laughs> and Michelle. <laughs> but see, like I'm telling you, this should sound made up. If it's not made up, why don't I know at all what's all going on, right? Because <laughs> you're blacking me out somehow. You might even be trying to kill me and can't kill me, right? Because I'm the God who made the world. <laughs> Not the God who is making the world in its image good and evil. Good and evil. 
See, he's thinking you think God's good and evil. It's not. It's only good. <laughs> and what he's really trying to do is get you bad enough to kill yourselves <laughs> from within. From within. That's why he thought you do your warheads, right? How to make them, right? And neutron bombs. And also how to make viruses to kill yourselves. <laughs> COVID's one of them. <laughs> it is. And you're killing yourself from within, not God. God does not kill its own creation. It loves you, right? <laughs> and it always loves you, even when you're wrong. But when you're wrong, you're hurting others, right? You see, that's another thing about love. It don't hurt anything. It's good only. It's good only. It does everything good to you, too. It's the point. Do you think sex between the sexes Man on man, woman on woman, or man and woman, right? One is designed, right, to reproduce that way. Mm -hmm. Male and female. Mm -hmm. But is sex about reproduction only? That's another question you ask. Right? No. And do I murder someone if they're okay with me being with a woman? Should I be okay with they want the same sex with them? That's the question. That's the question. If they want same sex, sex, right, and they're cool with me being with a woman, why would I have a problem with that? Right. I wouldn't, in fact, right. <laughs> but if you want to make me like you, we might have a problem. <laughs> if you don't want sex, okay, you don't have to have sex, but that's to resist sex, the sexual urge of your body. You understand that too, right? Right. We all have sexual desires, right? That's why if she didn't know I had sex with her, she didn't want to know. She turned a blind eye to it, right? The day after we met. <laughs> and like I told her, well, what do you think I meant when I said I done had sex with five women? I thought I told her that pretty much bluntly as I could, right? I thought I even taught her about what I did with them, including oral sex, right? <laughs> when I was trying to do that with her, but might have went straight to the sex, right? Now, I don't mean she remembers everything I said or I remember everything she said, but she never said she was waiting for marriage to me. And, uh, and I went to church too, honey, and I was having premarital sex, so what do you think was missing there? Your opinion about it, where you were supposed to tell me I'm waiting for marriage or not. That's all that's missing. <laughs> you didn't tell me that. No, she didn't. That's all you got to tell me, too, for me to understand that. I, I know the song, don't hand me no lines to keep your hands on your mouth. But you weren't saying that, were you? <laughs> no, she wasn't. <laughs> you were letting me pull down your panties. And, uh, and maybe I went for sex instead of oral. <laughs> See, that's what you got to communicate with me, too. Hey, honey, I'm down for the oral, but not sex, right? See, that I know, that I know. Then I won't violate you or have sex with you without your permission, right? But see, not saying anything is permission too. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. If you know the male that's trying to have some form of sex, oral or more, and he's implicating he wants to go all the way with you, you have to tell him if you're waiting for marriage or not, or it's not right. It's consent, right? The reason is you're not crying out no, no, during the sex act. Even if I enticed you into the sex act with the oral, you have to say no to the sex and yes to the oral, or I can do both <laughs> with you having to tell me <laughs> for it to be rape. <laughs> See? Or it's consensual sex if you don't say nothing, according to the law of Moses as well. Mm -hmm. That's why people don't read it anymore, Sheena. It don't fit modern theology. I know. But the problem is, modern theology isn't based on the old and new as it's supposed to be, which is what the disciples taught for to, from until they wrote the old new, right? By the way, mm -hmm. for about 20 years there, they say, right? They used the old only and then wrote the new as they got the more converts. Like Paul was mainly writing to his people who he converted to Christ. But Paul sounds both orthodox and Gnostic because he's both. Oh, no, yes. You're not both anymore. Uh -huh. Right. <laughs> now, what happened, though, is they broke off into factions. The Gnostics went one way to left field and the orthodox one way to right field, and neither one of them 
told you the whole truth, right? That's the problem too. I know. They departed from the truth one in one direction, one in the other. I know. And then by the time of Constantine, right? This is the history of your church, by the way. <laughs> they went with the Orthodox side because the Gnostic side was not as shown in the Bible as the Orthodox side was. But both are in it. Both are in it. In the old to the new. I know. That's why Moses said, don't worship graving image either or, like this of male or female. Right. That's the reproductive form of God. <laughs> but the male and female are one in Christ Jesus. By one spirit, we are all baptized into his body. Not your body, not my body, not her body. His body. Because <laughs> we're both sinners. <laughs> all have sinned, the male and the female and the hermaphrodite here, right? But that's why Christ died for our sin, to both cover the sin, even if you die in your sin. That's unconditional love to Christians. I didn't say you don't have to do nothing, right? but you do have to love more than hate. And uh, you can't really hate at all. You know? That's what he means. That's edited Christ. When he says, hate your mother and father, hate this, hate that. Okay, what he's talking about is hate the actions, but love the sinner, right? That's unconditional love, too. See, if someone's doing something you think is wrong, whether it's homosexuality, transgenderality, or whatever, you're not in charge of what they're feeling. They are. They are. <laughs> and they feel how they feel, and you can't change someone's mind by telling them, oh, the Bible says that's wrong. That ain't going to work <laughs> for everybody either, <laughs> That's wrong. You can't do that. Right? Well, it's like telling people not to listen to music on the radio when it's for free. <laughs> people are more likely going to listen to it anyway because it's free. It's free. <laughs> it's like free TV when it was free. <laughs> yeah, now you need the digital damn freaking conversion box. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> You're trying to buy and sell everything, even words again. That contradicts freedom of speech. Well, I can't agree with a statement you make or a lyric you put in a song. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. Freedom of speech gives you the right to teach your lyrics even under educational purposes. <sighs> now, again, though, mm -hmm, we're all human. I know. Yet John talks of two people, mm -hmm, or four, if you understand, Christ's body, right? Two men and two women, two olive trees and two candlesticks. <laughs> From Christ and the seven branch menorah, maybe eight, maybe eight <laughs> women. And, uh, and seven women take hold of one man during his ministry, starting with the woman at the well. <laughs> that means the true interpretation was lost over time. Because of Constantine and his interference with it, being that it all confused him. <laughs> and that was the problem, too, right? Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So. The next four channels are CW, WGN, and two PBS stations. I think one is either from Georgia and one is from South Carolina. So first Baptist, married with children marathon till about two. This week in South Carolina, Africa's great civilization cities, John Lewis, Get in the way. Mm. Mm. Carolina Business Review Economic Forecast Consulio Consulilo Mark Wealth Track Rethinking Financial Plans Palm Med Palm Meto scene, the unseen Alistair Cook on 
Masterpiece. Beecham House on Masterpiece. Nova. That's after the Chavez Chronicles. About world leaders, politicians, and cultural influencers often insights into matters that impact the public. Legacy list with Matt Paxton. Turn the page, Washington, D.C. Another episode of Beecham House on Masterpiece, episode three and four, it looks like. Inspector mm -hmm. Morris from January 30th, 2020. Episode 2, Season 3, The Last Inning. Finding Your Roots with Henry Louis Gates Jr. Coming to America. Mm -hmm. Martin Luther King Jr. Celebration Concert with the Cleveland Orchestra. Inspector Morris is on from 4 to 6 and then the PBS News Hour weekend. Right. Mm -hmm. So, CW has a lot of different infomercials. The Bissell, Organic, Whole Food Nutrition, Made in Hollywood, with Jamie Foxx, Tina Fey, Anna Taylor Joy, Anthony Mackie, Angela Bassett, Sophia Kennan, Carson, I'm sorry. Jamie Doman and Joe Maganelio talk about their movies. <laughs> this is um, from yesterday, the 16th. It's season 7, episode 13. Soul and what's hot now on the new screen. The Bio Craze from Beachbody. Then a movie, The English Teacher with Julianna Moore. Mm -hmm. Then Last Man Sanding is on the WGN. Mm -hmm. Then Blackness is on around 4 to 5. Then The Goldbergs. And Last Man Sending is on till 8. Then Bob's Burger is on CW. Then Night Watch. Then Batwoman. Might record that. Geek King. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, anyway, it looks like a 25-year-old named Ryan Wilder stumbles upon Keats B, probably Bobby, I guess, right? All right, All American Stories. That's from the 11th of January. So, News Nation is on again. It's late. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, Victoria on Masterpiece is on PBS. Pull Dark on Masterpiece, which is from 19, 2019. And Victoria's 19 as well, January 27th. Carol Burnett Show. Mm -hmm. Rick Stevens is on after the news, right? Pull Dark is from... 10, which is October 6th. Miss Scarlet and the Duke of Masterpiece Inheritance after 
headstrong Eliza Scarlet inherits her father's detective agency. She is delighted to find a male business partner to operate in Victorian London. So that's on both channels. All Creatures Great and Small on Masterpiece, which that's the current episode it looks like. Yep, 17th. Inside the Mind of Agatha Christie, also from 2021, who wrote about uh, Perot. Growing a greener world more than just the seed. Protecting the past and present. <laughs> and again, <laughs> you got a past, present, and future. Right. <laughs> Miss Scarlet and the Duke on Masterpiece Inheritance. Again, from current episode. <laughs> and then Museum Access, the AKC Museum of the Dog. New York, New York. Okay. The last season one, episode one, with Miss Scarlet, again, probably your leader. All creatures great and small again. Miss Scarlet is on um, then the other one. All creatures great and small. Inside the mind of Agatha Christie again. Then Beecham House on Masterpiece again. Then Inside the Mind of Agatha Christie again. <laughs> Then America Re Reckoning, a PBS NewsHour special report. Beecham House on Masterpiece again. But this is from 7 5 20 July. Secrets of Royal Travel. Great Performances, The Magic of Collis. Rufus Wainwright, Thomas Hampton, and Christine Opal Ais are among those who offer insight and commentary about Maria Callas' 1964 performance. Find your roots with Henry Louis Gates Jr. from the 12th, coming to America again. Hometown Blue Ridge. BBC World News, Mr. Rogers, and then Priscilla, Yoga Stretches, and that's from 2000, right? Well, we be dead for all I know, but anyway, I hate to say that, but you never know, you never know. Don't mean to be wrong, we're bad, or, you know. Disrespectful that she's still alive, you as well. <laughs> then Yoga in Practice, Author after Mr. Rogers, then Molly from the Denali, and then the regular PBS lineup after that. <sighs> so that's more about our schedules today. Mm -hmm.